Hey everyone, it's Chris and I'm here with my Diversathon TBR. The Diversathon is an amazing readathon that is being hosted by Christina Marie, She Might Be Monica, Witty Novels, and Scribble Reads. I'm gonna put a link down to all the information, like the dates and the information videos that the host put up. All that are, is gonna be down below because I ain't got time to try to go over all that right now. So, <laughs> but this, what I will say is that Diversathon is pretty much what it sounds like it would be if you don't know already, which you should because I'm putting this up pretty late and it starts Monday. Um, it is a readathon where we just read diverse books and books of books with diverse characters and books by diverse authors, which is really not that different for me because that's pretty much all I've read all year and I read all the time essentially um, because the last 30 books I read and only two of them weren't diverse reads. I read a lot of queer lit if you haven't noticed that already on my channel and I also read a lot of books um, that deal with mental health issues and other types of things like that uh, when I get a chance to so all of my books that I've read in, like in this year have pretty much been diverse lit so there was no reason for me to not do this and I'm really excited that other people are starting to do this and people are kind of reaching outside of their comfort zone who don't often do this and really thinking about it I'm really excited about that it's like this is just absolutely fantastic so I'm really happy that this is happening um, so recently though in my reading, I have not been reading a lot in the last couple months because I've been doing things, so I don't have a really big TBR for this one. I only have three books because I just know I won't have time to read. I'm looking for like new things that are happening and processing in my life. So I have three books. The first one is a library book. It is Jerkbait by Mia C. Geert. I don't think I'm pronouncing the word name correctly. C. Geert? I hope I am. But I've wanted to read this book for a while. It's on my most anticipated reads list for the year. And I have never read any books really with gay athletes in it. Uh, and the, I believe one of the, the the whole plot is that there's one of the characters is gay and he's a hockey player and he's in the closet. Um, and it's a twins book too. I don't, I, have, I don't know why I have a thing but twins in books. Like honestly, I love twin books. Like books with twins in them. I don't know why. But it's a thing. Like I look on my shelf and just point out so many of them right now. So yeah, I'm super excited to read this one. Um, the other two books that I have are books that are by Alex Sanchez, Hispanic Heritage Month is from September 15th to October 15th, and so I want to read some books by Hispanic authors. I read Melissa De La Cruz's Return to the Eye of Loss like a week or so, two ago, um, and now I'm reading some Alex Sanchez books. I've already read one book by Alex Sanchez that I really enjoyed. Um, but I have Rainbow Boys, which is part of a trilogy that he wrote that a lot of my friends um, in college really enjoyed. Like a lot of my friends in college, a lot of the alumni from my prior group in college, um, this was like some of their first queer, this is like the first queer book that some of them read. So I'm really excited to actually finally read this, hopefully, if I can get to it. Um, and this book is an interesting one for me because this is really a diverse read for me. This is out of my comfort zone. It's a queer book. Um, it's a gay young adult book, but it also deals with religion quite a lot. Um, it deals with characters who are religious and like who, a character who's religious and gay, um, and a character who's who's religious and doesn't and may be closeted or may have not actually been able to realize that he has these kind of feelings because he didn't think those two things could reconcile. And I am not very comfortable with books with religion and them. I just. It's, I'm, I was the president of the Second Student Lions, and I have some like issues with in my family, so it's not really in my comfort zone. So I want to definitely try to read something um, a little bit more outside of my comfort zone, since I always read diverse literature, and this has been on my shelf for a while. I've tried to read it once. Hopefully, I can actually read it this uh, this upcoming week, because I think it'll be something that could be good for me, and also just to talk about. Um, because I don't know how many other people have read this book, honestly, but yeah, I think this will be an interesting book for me to try to read, so hopefully I can get to this as well. I do have some backup books just in case I do end up reading a lot more than I think I will. Um, sometimes that happens, sometimes I just get into like these reading bursts and just read like a bunch of books in like a three-day period. Um, and if that happens, then I have some books that I just unboxed in my YA Pride Challenge unboxing, and that is The Last Scene Leaving by Caleb Rorig. I'm super excited to read this. Um, Three Truths and a Lie by Brent Harger, another book I'm super excited about. These were both on my most anticipated reads list for the year. And a book that I didn't know much about until I got it, but I'm so excited for, A Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst. This is a fantasy story about a princess who's betrothed to some prince or in some land, uh, but she falls for the prince's sister. 
she falls for the princess. And yeah, I'm, and it seems like there's gonna be like a mystery element too, so fantasy mystery, uh, uh, queer romance. I'm super excited to read this one. So these are kind of like some backup books um, that I have, just in case that I want to get too soon. Really excited for the discussions um, that are going to be happening on Twitter. There's going to be a lot of discussions around diversity um, and books and media, and I am super excited for those. Cannot wait for it. I hope uh, if you are participating, you guys let me know down low so I can watch your TBR video. I've been watching some TBR videos, but I haven't really gotten around to all of them. So if you are um, participating, let me know. I'll go check your TBR video. Um, tell me what you guys are reading because I'm super excited. Uh, to like the, hear what other people are picking out for their reads and I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, Like subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Bye